Good day everyone. You are welcome to my channel. I am Peter Emanje Adaviruku. I am a GIS solution provider. I offer services in installation, training, data acquisition, data integration, and data analysis. Today, I want to show you how to add map elements in ArcGIS. How to add map elements in ArcGIS. Remember to subscribe to my channel. So, let's go. Let's open, launch our ArcGIS. Then we add the data that we want to use to produce the map on which we add the map elements. For this tutorial, I would like us to use the shape file of Kogi State. Shape file of Kogi State. So let's locate our folder where Kogi State shape file is in and is here. So for this example, let's add Kogi State local government areas and Kogi State roads. I think this two is enough for the tutorial. So when you click on add, click OK, the shape file of the state has been added, including the road. So in this table of contents, you can change the color of the layer. So for this one, since this road, let's change it to highway symbol and let's decrease the width. Let's say two, make the color red and click OK. Similarly, the Kogi State LGS, we can change this one to holo, increase the width outline and say OK. Moreover, you can double click here and go straight to the properties of this layer and from properties we go to label click on label feature in this layer we are using the field called named then you can increase the font to 12 and bold it and click ok so all the local government in the state has been labeled now let's now go to the work exercise proper which is how to add map elements in ArcGIS to do that go to map layout so this is the map layout you can change the orientation of the of the map layout go to file go to page and print setup then change it from it's in portrait change it to landscape so the choice of this depends on the shape of your of your map so since the map is look like this the best uh, outline I mean the best portrait for it is so can increase change the size of your map yes from here we can add frame to our map at this point this is the map layout this is where you can add elements to your map be it legend scale whatever so from here let's add frame to our map so you can click on this rectangle sign and draw a frame on your map so when you do that it's going to be in fill so you right click on it go to properties so this color change it to no color then the outline color change it to black and the width outline width can change it to five click ok so you can see it now then another thing you want to add to the map another element is legend to add legend go to insert go to legend so when you click on legend so all the layers these two layers we have here are already here and they are here so these are the layers and these are the ones that will appear in the legend. So if you want the column of the legend to be two, you change it to two. If it is one, you leave it at one. For this example, make it one. Then the size of the legend, let's make it 22. Uh, next. So the background, you can change the color to orange. Next. Click next and click finish. So you can see our legend has been added so the next thing we want to add now is the grid we want to add grid lines to our map to do that right click on the map go to properties 
go to new grid under grid go to new grid then click next so if you want label only you click on label only so the interval let's say one degree one degree interval one degree so click next click next and click finish then apply to see what you have done when you apply you can see it here so if you want to make any edits to it uh, you can here you can click ok but if you want to make any edit on it as it is highlighted you right click you go to properties you go to properties here then let's say you want to make adjustment to the uh, label so you can increase the font size to increase the font size it is you go here increase it let's increase it to 12 make it bold left right click ok and click apply when you apply this is the new things you've done on it then another thing you can do to this map as it is highlighted you can go to frame and this border you can increase it to 2.5 and click OK. You can see it has been done. Then another element we want to add to our map is not arrow. So you click on insert, go to not arrow, then choose any not arrow symbol you want and click OK. So it is added. Then you can now move it to this extreme right corner of the map. Then if you want to edit the legend, you click on it or right click, go to properties then uh, if you want to edit the item click on item and click select all then you can make it let's say 16 font size make it bold and click ok so it has been done so if you want to add anything on it for example let's say i want to add my own uh, signature on it i'll click on this symbol which is add text i click here then you go back and pick the select a uh, symbol right click on it click so i can just say ggs which stands for GOJ gis solutions you click on this uh if you want to make it then then change the color to uh la lapis lazuli so you can change that and make it bold click ok and click ok so that one has been added can i put it here now the final thing you want if you want to add a map title you can click on this icon and type it here whatever any other things you want to add any other elements you can do that here so the final thing you want to do here is to export this map so that you can share it with other people so to do that you come back to uh, file go to export map you click on export map let's wait okay it's back so locate your folder where you want to save it uh, in this example, I want to save it on desktop in a folder named to to tutorial. Click on it. Then let's just name it map. Then the format you can pick JPEG or BMP, whichever format you want, and click save. So it is saved. Then let's now go and cross check our map. Let's go to, to, to tutorial folder, which is this then map you click on it so this is the map we produce this is how to produce add elements on map in ArcGIS. once again thank you for watching this video